Hi there, it's Esther Herbert, and I am so delighted that you popped by today for another one of these video visits. Now, I really find tough topics, uh, just that, very tough to talk about, but I think they're so important. And this topic this week is on trust. Now, I know that mental health suffers if you do not trust, um, not even easily, just trust in general. And I know that you would want to have a person in your life that you trust, at least one, and somebody that you know you can count on. And uh, that means you're gonna have to maybe stretch yourself more than you've ever stretched before to trust them. I know from my personal experience of having bipolar, I wouldn't say it's for everyone that has bipolar, but for me personally, I have some big, massive, trust issues. Now I have had friends and do have friends that have been in my life for 40, 50 years, and they are much easier at this point to trust. But I also know that this trust issue comes up regardless. So it doesn't matter how long I've known someone really, or if I've just met someone that might be amazing and uh, has given me no reason not to trust them. Now, when I get uh, to the point where I'm like, you know, this has happened, for instance, you know, and you think, well, I wonder if I can trust what they've said, you know, you need to, instead of, with me, a knee-jerk reaction and just automatically think the worst, jump to a conclusion that is incorrect um, without speaking with that person and saying, hey, you know, this is what I'm experiencing. Is this true? Can you help me? No, I mean, I'm more prone to, oh my gosh, you know, what have they done? And this isn't good. It makes me feel horrible. And when I'm in the throes of feeling horrible, then I do things that aren't very intelligent and smart and good for me. I will write them something. I will say, hey, why did you do this? You know, and just, uh, I feel rotten. You know, I knew I shouldn't have trusted you or on and on it goes. And you're going down this black hole where it's not necessary. So my uh, big tip for you, if you're experiencing this in your own life, having trust issues, is maybe put something in place. And this is what I'm talking to myself to do, is one, you might want to stop. You might want to say, hey, you feel rotten, but don't write anything. Maybe call another friend who knows of your trust issues and knows the circumstance and say, hi, I, I really need your help because I want you to tell me, to not write what I'm wanting to write. And maybe you can talk me down. That person knows that the other person is very trustworthy, very kind, have given me no reason not to trust them. I need reminding of that. Or uh, maybe I've received some great texts or emails or messages from that, the person I'm having trust issues with that have said all the good things that I need and want to hear. Well, write them out or put them in an, a piece of paper that I can pull out and I can read. And I can say, okay, and you might want to read that aloud because sometimes when we're in the throes of feeling horrible, we are not listening. So if you read aloud and say, oh, they do love me. They do care about me. Regardless of my circumstances, they're there for me. Oh, you know, that might help. And, and believe me, you don't want to do any of this, but I'll guarantee you what you don't want to do is feel that angst and that uh, depression that follows. Uh, much more than you want to just uh, do the flesh wants to scream out and say, hey, what about me? I'm in pain. Maybe you can stop for just a minute and think before you act. And that will save you a lot of mental anguish and mental pain. Everybody on the planet loves to be trusted and to have someone they can trust. People with mental health issues, they might need that a little bit more. I know I do. In my bipolar, I need it a lot. So God has given you probably somebody in your life that's amazing and that uh, you want to trust and you do trust most of the time. Well, let's make it all of the time, if you can, because that will make you feel so much better. So these words today are very tough, very hard, but I think they're applicable to all of us. So I want to wish you the best mental health this week. And the best way I can think of for this video visit is to trust, trust someone and let them be in your life and make such an impact and difference. So God bless you. 
You are important and so is your mental health. Thanks so much for joining me.